baby massage is a fabulous way to bond with your baby. It can benefit your baby too by helping her to relax, stretch and ease discomfort from the digestive problems. Before you get started, make sure you are in a quiet, calming environment. You are using a soft surface and you have some good quality baby cream or massage oil. Make sure you use a cream or oil gentle enough for your baby's sensitive skin. Timing is key here. Don't try to massage your baby just before or after a meal or when she is tired or needs a nap. You can choose to remove all your baby's clothes or keep on the nappy just in case. Place your baby on a soft towel on the bed. If she isn't wearing a nappy, have a protective sheet under the towel to prevent the surface underneath from getting wet in case your baby pees. Remove any jewelry that may catch, rub or irritate your baby's skin. Always rub the cream or oil in your hands before making contact with your baby to warm both your hands and the oil. Watch your baby's reaction to each movement and if she doesn't like anything, stop what you're doing and give your baby a cuddle instead. Some babies like massages more than others. Just follow your baby's cues and enjoy. Start the massage with your baby's legs and move up the body. Her legs are a good place to begin as they are less sensitive than some parts of her body and she may be used to having them touched during nappy changes. Massage the thighs and gently pull down as if you are milking her leg. This will help your baby relax and stretch her legs which in newborns are often pulled in tight to the body in a fetal position. Feel your baby's resistance point and don't pull beyond what she finds comfortable. While massaging the feet, use your thumbs to trace circles over the bottom of each foot. Then gently pull at each toe. When massaging her arms, use the same movement as on her legs. Pull down from the shoulder to her wrists. Massage her palm with circular movements and gently pull on each finger. Next, place your hands on your baby's chest and move from the center out. On her tummy, use clockwise movements to encourage internal movement along the digestive system. You can also use gentle downward strokes from her chest to her thighs. To massage your baby's back, place her on her tummy. Use circular movements to move up your baby's back on either side of her spine. Then, use firm but gentle strokes to move from your baby's shoulders to her bottom. After you are done with her back massage, leave her on her tummy for a minute or two or longer if she is happy there. It's a good time for your baby to get some important tummy time since the massage will have soothed and relaxed her. Then you can turn your baby over onto her back again and start with the head massage. The soft spot on your baby's head known as the fontanelle will remain soft till your baby is around 18 months old. So. Don't apply any pressure while giving your baby a head massage. Remember not to massage your baby's face. To keep your baby's massage safe, never leave her unattended, even for a moment, especially if you are giving the massage on a raised surface such as the bed. After her massage, your baby will probably be relaxed you can follow it up with a soothing warm bath or just a feed and nap.